Because, girl, it was time for my heavenly father to answer the prayer that I had put up to him 13 years prior. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And that's beautiful, man. I, 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 I can tell that it was something because I know so many people I've changed behind mm. one room. So many, man. I already know it. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. It's, it's like sometimes, like you, you know, like I said, when I when I think about it, just being a young girl, you talk about coming from that dysfunctionality, mm -hmm. right? Like it was tough in the home. Mm -hmm. Like something happened to where you felt like. This ain't right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I heard mm -hmm. you speak on it on mm -hmm. another interview, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's like, but for you to be who you are now and for you to help so many people with the movies and stuff that you've done, we sat at home during COVID and watched Pure Flix till we couldn't watch Pure Flix no more trying to cleanse ourselves because we hadn't had to look at each other mm -hmm. for a very long time. <laughs> and a because lot of we both don't were working know about and yes. doing all yes. this other stuff mm -hmm. and now I got to look at her. Y'all mm -hmm. said she cute. Well, I'm trying to find the cuteness <laughs> right, because right. I've been with this woman and we've been through hell and high water right, and right. I'm trying to figure out if this is where we're going to be. And right. You pop on the TV. Mm. Different people pop on it encouraging and we say mm. we don't want to listen at that no more mm -hmm. because this right here, we don't want to hear nothing but what's real. How did we find Pure Flix? Do you, you remember? I think you found it one day just yeah, looking through just apps. Yeah, just looking through apps and stuff <clears> like that because I didn't know anything about this. You have your Netflix, you have all these other ones and when I saw Pure Flix, I'm like, huh, it's not, just the name alone mm -hmm, sound mm -hmm, like, okay, mm -hmm. so when you look through it, I'm like, okay, no cursing, nothing mm -hmm. really, you know, no sexual, no this, mm -hmm. no that. I'm like, okay, this is a great platform. Yeah. So, you know, that's when Thank we started you. Oh, watching it. And we're like, and then we found you have so many different films on there. And then, of course, War Room is one thing that I'm telling you that Man. if y'all... I shared War Room Claire. on Facebook like a million times. Look out, Miss Claire. Hey, listen. Because being married... I would tell everyone she that this is... She do tell everyone. Even today, I, and I would get so mad if when I follow up, I said, did you watch it yet? Did you watch <laughs> it yet? She do this all the time. And they say, no. I'm like, you need to watch this. Yeah. Because when you call me, tell me you having this, this, this problem, you need to watch this. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but you need to watch this. This will help you. And anytime I feel like I'm having problems in our marriage, mm -hmm. I will pull up that movie and watch that movie. Because to me, I don't want to give no spoilers, but you realize that you're not fighting, I'm not fighting him. Mm. I'm mm. fighting somebody I cannot see. I followed you like I should. I need you right now. Ooh. You understand yes, what I mean? Yes, ma'am. And every single time I watch that movie, there's one part that gives me goosebumps. And it's when <laughs> Priscilla, like, she, she sends the devil out of her house. I don't know where you are, devil. But I know you can hear me. Yeah. And say, get out. You can't have my marriage. You can't have my daughter. And you sure can't have my man. And then she shuts the door and then she come back again and say, and as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And another thing. I am so sick of you stealing my joy. But that's changing too. And I get goosebumps every single yes. time she does that. My joy doesn't come from my friends. It doesn't come from my job. It doesn't even come from my husband. My joy is found in Jesus. Let me ask you a question. Like yes. when, when you was preparing for that part, um, just give me a spill. I want to. I want to run down. Like like walking up to that situation. How it even came together. Like. How did know. she get that part? No, I want. I want. I'm. I'm asking you. Like I want to know. Oh, it. 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 Uh, some deep divine stuff. See, when 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 uh, things are lean, mm -hmm. and you're still trying to do the right thing, and these roles are coming, and they're not good for you to take, and you're like, mm, how can I talk my way into it, and or whatever, and it not be so bad? But I made a choice that I was going to um, be God honoring with the projects that I take. I love that. I had gone to a Women of Faith conference, and in between the different women speaking, they had a um, an actress who would do different scenes and monologues named Nicole Johnson. 
And um, she was killing it, too. I had never seen anything like it. And I was like, okay, God, if you would just allow me to use the gift that you've given me the way you're allowing her, I'll give you everything that I have. I didn't want to be Nicole, but I did want him to use me in a mighty way. And so as the years went on and the years kept ticking, I'd take this, that, this, that. But I got more involved in my church, writing, directing dramas and Mm -hmm. whatnot. And then... um, Me and my husband, we thought it was us who had decided to leave L.A., but I (laughs) realized that that was not the case at all. So anyway, we leave L.A. and we move to North Carolina. Why Mm -hmm. would an actress move to North Carolina? Mm. So anyway, we were house hunting, and um, the last realtor to show us a house uh, saw a license plate on my then Ford Windstar minivan. And it read the book. I had a van. I've only got one child, and I had him when I was 103. <laughs> <laughs> and, baby, I was on my knees for him for a long time, and then God did honor it. Oh, but wow. we, we were fostering, so mm-hmm. I needed a van to carry my foster kids around. Mm-hmm. And, anyway, the lady, the realtor said, so uh, the book, your license plate, what is that? Is that the book? I said, what book are you talking about? She said, you know, the Bible. I said, yes. So she asked where I was going to church. I said, honestly, we've been going to different churches, but we haven't found one that we felt God was telling us to stop, grow Mm -hmm. loose. And she said, okay, well, you know what? Um, This weekend, why don't you come down to my church if I give you the address? Would you consider? I said, Mm -hmm. sure. So we went down, walked in those doors, baby. The spirit was up in that place. The doctrine was sound. You always have to check your doctrine. Exactly. You can't let anybody just that's tell you whatever because there's a lot of crazy coming Especially from the when pulpit. you know it. Mm. That's why you got to know it for yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm. And so, and, and the worship was on fire. So one year led to two years, led to three years, led to eight years. And then a gentleman said, Karen, the Kendrick Brothers is going to be making a movie. I think you should audition. I think you're the one they're looking for. House. That's why I'm here. As far as my faith is concerned, I believe in God, just like most people. He said, I've seen how you served here Mm. the eight years that you have been here, and I believe you're the one. Mm. So he said, I'm going to send you some uh, dialogue. No, I'm going to give you their information, send a picture and resume. I did, and I didn't hear anything back from them. He asked me, he said, well, have you heard from the Kendrick brothers? I said, no. Mm. He said, that's okay. That's okay, because they're going to be holding auditions next week. He's very important to me. Mm-hmm. Well, let me get our coffee. Right here in our church. Mm. Okay. He knew that. <laughs> he brought them <laughs> to me. To you. So on the day of the audition, you know, the guy sent me the sides from Miss Clara. He said, I, and I know you're the one, because I've I seen what you can do. Mm-hmm. So um, the day of the audition, day of the audition, I went into my closet, found something that I thought would be appropriate for, for an eighty-year-old woman, mm-hmm. and then I found a wig that I thought would suit this Miss Clara character that I was envisioning. So that was your wig in the movie. It was a different wig, but, okay, I, but just, because, you know I've got <laughs> lots of wigs, so I had a gray wig, very okay. similar. Okay, and so I got dressed up and I went in in character and I stayed in character the entire time. So if I asked you. What your prayer life was like. Would you say that it was hot or cold? And when I was through, they asked me to give my testimony, and I gave it. I gave the good, the bad, and the, ooh, even worse. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> and Thank you. I like it black. Miss Clara, you like your coffee room temperature? No, baby, mine's hot. Then I laughed, and when I got home, uh, the phone was ringing, and they were offering me the role. But see, check this out. The Kendrick brothers, mm-hmm. they're some praying brothers because they had interviewed well-known gospel singers and actresses, but God kept telling them no mm. because, girl, it was time for my heavenly Father mm-hmm. to answer the prayer that I had put up to him 13 years prior. hmm Okay. Wow. Yeah. Oh, ha, 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 devil. You just got your butt kicked. And that's beautiful, man. I, 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 I can tell that it was something. Because I know so many people lives changed behind mm-hmm. one So many, man. I already know it. My God is faith. And my God is powerful. And 
and my God is in charge. You can't fire him and he'll never retire. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you, she gives this movie to every friend we got. <laughs> every time. That's She's going to solve their relationship with this movie. And that's how she thinking. I agree with her because there's so many jewels in it. You yeah. know, what was the most, uh, what scene or line from that movie was the most? Outstanding. The, the one that you hold on to. That there, there were so many, but uh, one was sometimes you got to get out of God's way. Mm -hmm. You got to plead with God so that he can do what only he can do. Then you got to get out of the way and let him do it. You know, you can pray and you can talk in tongues and you can do a whole lot of things. But if you don't leave space for God to come in and do what he says he will do. Mm hmm. You know, because then we're sort of like becoming God and not realizing, well, I'll do it, I'll do it. No, just sit back. You got to trust. And in that trusting and sitting back, then you grow your faith. Mm -hmm. He said he will do it. Give him the space in which to work. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.